Hey, man, I wasn't even going to show this play, but take note, young tackles. This is what happens when you find work. All offensive linemen, just psh. That's what you do when you get those little hits like that. Just psh. Don't come in my trenches with your head down, man. What the hell wrong with you, Dodge? Oh, what's up, you guys? What's going on? If I can get it to focus there. And welcome back. Welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to an American Football Player's video. And today's video, we're focusing on none other than Andrew Thomas. If you tuned in for the previous video, you will have seen my reaction to his his profile, his story, his Wikipedia. Also, we read uh, an article from the New York Dot com and last but not least we had a look at his Georgia Bulldogs profile which didn't really give us too much information but thinking back now I actually missed a couple of things so the first thing I'm gonna do before we get into this there he is big man for Georgia um, this is the stuff that I saw but I didn't read which is really annoying I know he went to Pace Academy in high school in 2017 he was named to the freshman all-american team which we know okay so 2018 all-American first team. Okay, so this is, I guess this is just a, a bit of a roundup of what we already knew. But there is one interesting piece of information here. He was winner of the SEC's Jacobs Blocking Trophy. And it was the University of Georgia's first recipient of the award in 21 years. Named one of four permanent team captains. And he was the co-winner of Vince Dooley Offensive MVP, given at team's postseason awards gala. He got the All-SEC First Team, a key player in Georgia that won 11 or more games in three straight seasons, won three straight SEC Eastern Division titles, played in three straight New Year's Six Bowl games, started at left tackle in all 13 games in which he played, etc, etc, etc. Andrew, thanks mate, but without further ado, it's time we look at your highlights. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. And I guess the first thing we need to do is choose what videos we're going to watch. In the previous two videos, we had a highlight clip from Sick Edits HD, but apparently Andrew Thomas didn't make the cut. So, what we're going to do is I don't know. <laughs> what are we going to do? Uh, Andrew Thomas's film study, 18 minutes long, seems a bit long. Um, oh, we've got an interview. Andrew Thomas shares experience playing in the SEC. Sweet, I'll get that. New York Giants select Georgia OT Andrew Thomas with the number four pick. I'm pretty sure that's just his pick, but we'll have a look at that. Why did the Giants pass on Isaiah Simmons to draft offensive lineman Andrew Thomas? Andrew Thomas's first interview as a New York Giant Andrew Thomas's combine workout, film room, breaking down Andrew Thomas's college tape, and we're going to go Andrew Thomas college highlights. You know, with a guy in this kind of position, I guess just looking at a few highlights is not, I don't know if it's going to show me what I need to see or what I want to see, but looking at like someone else break his play down or looking at possibly some interviews, talking with him about how he plays and what he sees on the field, etc. I think that'd be more useful. 259, Andrew Thomas, all 22 film. What's that? Vok takes a deep dive into college football film from players, breaking down the players. Andrew Thomas, combine workout. No, Andrew Thomas highlights. Highlights of Andrew Thomas, lineman out of Georgia, who is probably the most complete tackle in the draft. First thing we're going to do is watch Andrew Thomas's highlights. You with me? Number 11. No, number 71. Probably the most complete tackle in the draft. We would be lucky if he slipped to the Jets at 11. No. No good. I'm going to try this one. Nah, this ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work, guys. I know a much, much better video that we could easily watch. 
and that is this video right here. Voc Lombardi. Don't know who it is, but it's okay. What's happening, folks? It is Vox the Lombardi. I don't know when y'all watching this. It could be in the morning. You could be on your lunch break. It could be right before you go to bed. But I appreciate you for it's the morning, bro. Choosing to be here with me. We're gonna watch some film on Andrew Thomas. Uh, left well, all right then. Seventy-one, Georgia. That's the red jersey. In case you wasn't up on the game, let's talk about him a little bit. He got a handful of traits that I really, really like, and we're gonna talk about some things that I wish were different. Uh, so please hang tight there. But right here, number seventy-one, left tackle, right? Um. The reason I picked this Notre Dame film was um, because I think it properly represents the player. We got some pretty good competition. DJ Khaled on this side. Julian's right there. Some pretty good three-tech work up in there. Uh, we're going to get some, some pretty good football terminology going. So it should be a, a fun little show, man. But if you're a fan of Andrew Thomas, you're a fan of his run. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, was <laughs> I literally just missed that. I was looking at Andrew Thomas, and then I thought, holy shit, the, the, the ref is actually set up too. Is he going to be playing defense? And then I was watching the ref because he did not—he did not move. He didn't. I don't think the ref moves until they have to, which is interesting. I, honestly, I don't usually look at the ref, but I did then. Anyway, we're not watching the ref. We're watching 71. That's what he does really well. That's the one thing that stands out the most. Um, when, when you just see him come off the ball and oh, kind of so he met. Bit, right? Okay. And, uh, we see some pretty good knee band. Fantastic. Hands are in a place where he can work and navigate. Hat level's pretty cool. Then watch his hips right here, right? Watch him uncoil his hips right there. Let me do it in slow motion so you see it. Boom. See that? That 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 means I'm hitting you with some kind of power and I want to move you. Okay? Um, there's not oh, bro, that is some you power. Push. You know what? That, <laughs> that defensive end actually did extremely well to even stay on his feet. You know what that reminds me of? Seeing Andrew Thomas go up like that against that fella. That reminds me of like two big like... Oh God, what what animal out there has a massive ass? Is it two elks going against each other? Is it two is it two rhinoceroses going against each other? Is it two hippopotamuses going against each other? I don't know what it was, bro, but that uncoiling that he was talking about, that power that's being generated like that each and every step, bang, 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 bang. Next level. For football league, so what you end up getting with a lot of old linemen is this concept called hat on hat. If you can just simply um, engage that? with someone while we're running a zone run concept and just let the running back pick the hole, pick the grass or whatever, um, then you're in good shape. What right, so he's purposely engaged this, you know, defender rather than slipping back a little bit in the pocket and 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 just basically just reacting to whatever the defender does. He's gone and taken the initiative and gone and met him and yeah. What's so good about Andrew is that not only does he hat on hat people, but he actually gets movement, okay? Um, and I guess another way to say hat on hat is like a stalemate or whatever. You see a lot of offensive linemen stalemate. You don't get too, too much stalemate with Andrew Thomas. I'm going to tell you why in a handful of, um, a handful of techniques later. Uh, you don't see him stalemate too much. You see him get some kind of movement. Take a look at this at this, uh, at this this second play here. Um, we're we're, we're going to see him do the same kind of deal, right? We're going to see him consistency there. Come off the ball, boom. Hands, good knee bend, good hat level, and that's how he wins. Uh, I'm show you another technique that he uses to uh, to win these run blocking engagements or whatever. So take a look at this. All right, here we go, y'all. We got Andrew Thomas right here, 71 left. Well, I was actually wondering about the running back there. To be fair, sorry, mate, but if I can just stop you. See there, come off the ball. Look at this. The running back gets the ball right. This middle linebacker is uh, closing down on him fast. Basically, the only other option that this running back had was to bounce out to the left, right? You know, if that had have happened, this number six is going to come down. Although, you know, he could bounce here. He could hold up for a little bit. Hopefully, Andrew Thomas is still holding this blocker and then bounce to the outside. Oh, boom. Hands, good knee bend. Good know what I mean? So he would have come left. It's going to be a one-on-one, -on -one, the running back against the linebacker. And who knows what would have happened. When you got Andrew Thomas out on the left, you go left. Lovely, that's how <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to show you another technique that he uses to, uh, to win these run blocking engagements or whatever. So take a look at this. All right, here we go. Yeah, All right. We got Andrew Thomas right here, 71 left tackle. Um, 
this is something I really want to show y'all. So just tell your kids to leave the room, uh, cover their eyes and ears, because this is about to be some O-line porn right here. It's one of those techniques that really just shows off how much polish a player really has, and it solidifies their spot with the Okay. Runner. Take a look at what 71 Andrew Thomas does to 41. He's going to bump down in the B gap and just look at what he does to him real fast. Just, just, just watch this. Watch this, man. He's going to bump down in the B gap, and we're going to use this one technique that we use in the room. <laughs> oh, I think we're going to call this. Uh, the tactical lean. <laughs> tactical lean. That's, that's a body slam. Lean. That's what that is. In my comment section, a tactical lean. What does that mean? It's when you use your weight to your advantage. Damn, bro. That guy had no chance. You just can't be out here using your weight leaning on people just to lean on people because you'll lose balance. You'll fall forward. But if you just find that sweet spot to use your weight to become heavier, then you drop. Bro, that was... Yeah, that was O-line porn, that's for sure. Of your feet. Because take a look at Andrew's feet. Hold on. He ain't just falling on foot. He's driving as he's dropping his... He was the quicker man off the line. <clears throat> Hello? Nick Manette. 315, 320 pounds on top of you. Uh, combine nerds, help me out. How much Andrew Thomas really weigh? He's dropping that on top of you and moving his feet. Com uh, comboing this power and this size. Right let, let me let me just let me just sit, sit something up. Wait, hang on. What animal is around 320 pounds? <laughs> no, I don't want an animal pound. Is around 300 pounds. What animal is around 300 pounds? No. No, he's just too big. That's, 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 that's God level O line play. Um, let's take a look at this one, man. Same concept, right? Boom. Using my weight, I'm a lean on. Mm. Right? I thought it was I'm the same play. Feet passing you along to the combo, getting to the second level, yeah. getting hands on the linebacker, man. I am so impressed with Andrew Thomas as a run blocker, and, and we'll talk about his about his pass. His pass running back made the right decision there. Same time, man. I know, I know, we're we're talking about the offensive lineman, right? But I'm still looking at the running back. Just I can't help it. Just enjoy what he's doing in the run game and this movement that he's creating. Take a look at what he does in his three tech right here. He's going to hit him with another tactical lean, right? Now, all tactical leans aren't like the last few that we saw where we're leaning and we're taking people to the ground. It's not always. He is a big a human. Distribution just to get you, you know, moving in that direction. And then I'll just get back on my toes. Uh, Man, running back backs. Running backs would. And, and would. Just just proceed to move running backs and quarterbacks would absolutely love right you know their I mean? tackles um, wouldn't um, they you, you can't help that bond be a fan of the good old uh tactical lean man take a look at this and i give this touchdown credit to andrew thomas take a look at him he's right here um All right. he's gonna get some movement going he's gonna end up selling the linebacker off and he's oh gonna be the yeah to touchdown for deandre that's like a big um, mall in the game of rugby there man just, just, Got the ball carry at the back of it. Can't beat this with a stick, man. Looking for just work. stay on your feet. You, you can't complain when your offensive lineman is looking for work. What does that mean? Yes. Looking for work. Well, if I step down and ain't nobody there, I need to find somebody to hit. We're looking. Mate, that offensive lineman knows that if my running back's going to be straight up my ass, he ain't going to score unless I'm over the the, the the end goal line, and that's exactly what he did there. And because. Um, Andrew, but we won't step down and he looked for work and he sealed up 40. That's a whole six points right here. Hey man, I wasn't even going to show this play, but take note, young tackles. This is what happens when you find work. All offensive linemen, just Just Don't come in my trenches with your head down, man. What the hell wrong with you, Dodge? <laughs> and you dropped your hat. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, but look at the second block. Grass all over his gold pants and just just messing up his clothes and his white. Just be, this block here, this block here, should he, he should have done a lot better, and then the halfback would have had a, a clean lane. YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content crew. Sorry, mate. Right, he's got 129 patrons. Hey guys, I just want to take this moment right here, right now. He's plugging his Patreon. I'm going to plug my Patreon. You can find it at Jacob McDonald on Patreon.com. I have a Patreon. I've got nine absolutely incredible Patreons right now, but I'd love some more. So if you're thinking about it, if you want to support this channel financially, head over. That's a salute. Good pass blocker. But if you got any reservation, it's coming from that side of the field, man. It, it's just a, a handful of technique things that I would like to tweak. Um, 
and I don't even think this makes him a, a bad player. I just think he'll be a much better player if uh, he wasn't a victim of coaching philosophy here, right? Um, take a look at Andrew and how he's dealing with this defensive end. Oh my right? gosh, I just missed uh, something. You know, this this little this little high hand clamp move is apparently real high in the streets. Look at the it's angle, bro. That's so that's that's incredible. This is two beasts going up against each other, like literally two two different styles of uh, I guess two different styles of, of force, you know what I mean? We've got Andrew with the <laughs> with the squat and we've got the number 53 who's coming in on a 45 degree angle just pushing everything he's got but can he move him seems like you know everybody's saying that there's not a lot of good offensive linemen in the league well because they're out here teaching this this goofy little hand clamp this high hand clamp thing when we should be teaching hands inside it's just a difference of coaching philosophy whatever don't hate on me for that but um when when we have this this uh this high hand clap, what happens? When okay, so what is he saying? He's saying that he shouldn't be bringing the hands over like that because it's going to give the defender a chance to get underneath. Maybe you should be going under as the first priority. I don't know. Defensive lineman is that their their arms get real wide and it exposes their chest and and the defender ends up getting hands inside and when they get hands inside they kind of control you a little bit right? right and I know that they coaching that because I'm looking over at the right tackle let's look at him and he's doing the same thing man just 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 open open arms man just 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 real goofy looking giving up their chest I can't see, see bro back back in this one because right because I'm looking over at the right tackle let's look that 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 tackle could have initiated the contact he could have come towards 42 I mean 42 had it completely over him this one and he shouldn't have because he, you know he weighs hey, less man. just 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 open open arms man just 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 real goofy looking or game. maybe the lineman knew that they were going to throw it to the left so he knew that it doesn't matter what happens he just has to stop that guy from getting to the quarterback so if he did initiate it he might have got swiped past maybe yes I can't stand it um I would much rather Andrew get get his hands on the defender as, as quick as possible, right? But instead, we see the defender got hands in the middle of Andrew, and he kind of gave up a little ground. Now, I will say, once Andrew gets hands on people, they tend to stop moving. That's how I know he's a good he's a good pass blocker, right? Because his movement is good, his feet is good, and his hands are relatively good. They're just in the wrong place. But once he gets hands on people, you see that power start to come out. Let me show you another example. So, like, Andrew never gets overpowered by either of these defensive ends in the run game, right? So I know they're not stronger than him. I know they're not. But let's just take a look at 71 right now, then we'll come back and we'll look at it, right? Just just very unsure with his hands, and I know that's a damn coaching thing, right? And with, and with that, that uncertainty of his hands, he, uh, he allows uh, Julian O'Quara uh, to get his hands inside. And, and, and hell, man, Andrew kind of gets picked up off the ground here, man. He's not strong right here, man. But, but instead, I want Andrew to be able to get his hands on guys quickly to punch them first. Um, and there are some examples. Still did an effective job. And what I just saw was that wide receiver get squashed. I'm going to show you in a little bit. There are examples of, get off my screen. There, there are some examples of Andrew getting hands on the defender first. Uh, probably because the defender just engaged with him quicker uh, or, or, or just some, uh, some kind of. So you don't think that he does have the initiative to go and get the defender first? Or he does? I'm a little confused now. Gap exchange, something like that. Let me just show you an example of what happens when Andrew can finally get hands on people first. Okay. All right, take a look at Andrew on this play. Watch this. Kick, 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 kick. Goofy little hand exchange. But once he gets he got, he, on, he, he got underneath, he didn't he? Stop moving. Ball game, right? The same kind of Andrew that we know and love with the... Bro, he, that, that is all the force that, that that defensive end has. And Andrew Thomas has literally absorbed all of that. Right at this moment, you can see it. The solid base and the hat level yeah you ain't all moving that that, stuff, that 53 has right? put he everything he's got into that he just gotta get hands on people and i know he was ready to do that little goofy high hand stuff because you see how he exposes his chest right there i can't stand that hands are gonna get inside and we get a solid block here kick 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 boom hands blocks done and the same right thing. on the uh the pads the chest guard boom you stop moving right right on the chest guard isn't it like right here Actually, come to think of it, I went to an American football training last year for the first time, and a guy that was about my weight, definitely, you know, no 300 pounder, literally picked me up off my ass and threw me about two meters backwards, just through the proper technique 
of of you know punching basically and it just it, it, it humbled the shit out of me it was it was great if you let him be quicker with his hands um guard his insides and just let him get the inside of the defender whoever the defender may be if you allow Aunt andrew i think i called him andre by accident if you allow andrew uh to to um purposely aim an attack for the defender's chest plates or whatever andrew will i'm watching the running back i'm sorry quicker and that'll allow <laughs> him to be powerful uh more powerful quicker you know what i mean um let's look at one more thing and we'll get up out of here some else I, right. I just want Andrew to be a little more patient when he's dealing with uh, with uh, gap exchanges. Like he want to beat the hell out of people so bad that when people crosses his cross his face, he goes with them instead of being a little more patient in the uh, pass game. Take a look at him here at left tackle. Watch this. Uh, we're gonna get a gap exchange. Boom, boom, boom. He wants to beat the hell out of this dude, so he wants to go with you. But we got a gap exchange to the outside. Now Andrew Thomas is good enough to recover and get back outside, and you know try to get a hand on this dude before Jake from State Farm uh, you know just 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 dies back there but this would have been a lot smoother if you would have passed him along stay square stay square and you would have seen this gap exchange happen and then you'll just move along but because you want to split second down, split second shit isn't it I mean this dude uh, going uh, going behind him and the same thing here we got another gap exchange to the outside and we're just gonna uh, Ooh, well, he got forced into that gap exchange. He's gonna want to, you know, smoke and crash down on that <laughs> man. He, he, he has to overcompensate for that just to get back outside, man. Really, really weird habit, but uh, that just shows how aggressive and angry he plays football. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm a big fan of Andrew Thomas, man. I'm a big, big fan of him. Uh, of course, he, you know, there's that one hand thing that I want to be different. But I know that once he gets to the next level in the National Football League, man, some coach is just going to let him get hands inside on people. And he's going to go right back to smoking kids, man. Um, and, and, and that kind of, you know, when you think about the rankings of these guys, right? Because I think. Look at the tricep coming out. Is he is. When it comes to OT number one. <laughs> Uh, I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised he only put up 22 reps on the bench. Of uh, uh, Beckton, it's out of Thomas, and of uh, uh, Jedrick Wills, of course. Um, so, which of those guys is, is offensive tackle number one? And I think if you consider um, the actual physical traits from Andrew, I think Andrew is a more physically talented player than some others or whatever. While others may be raw, he has more polish than others. Uh, to where one may be more of a balanced package, and he may not be as good as Andrew at one thing, but he's better than Andrew as another thing, right? So we kind of got to figure out what we really like about these tackles. Um, and well, that's what I'm doing right now. We'll come to grade them accordingly, all right? So, um, you know, just in case there's, there's somebody asking me, yo, Vach, where do you rank Andrew Thomas? Is he your OT number one, two, or three? I don't know yet. Neither do I. But guys... That was a whole heap of fun. That was our first look at Andrew Thomas. That was a full film study of one of his games. Um, I can't, remember, can't actually recall which game it was now. But that doesn't matter. In the next video, we're going to continue with the other Andrew Thomas videos. I want to hear him talk. I want to hear him talk. You want to hear a guy who's such a beast on a field like that, but you want to hear how he talks. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's the person. It's not just the physical attributes, is it? That makes a successful professional football player. It's, it's the personality. It's the locker room vibes. It's the ability to be punctual, um, to you know, generate respect, to be honest, you know, confident but not cocky, etc. So guys, we're going to call it there. This video has probably been about half an hour long. I want to thank you for being here. And without further ado, I'll see you on the next one where we hear Andrew Thomas speak. And following that, we're going to have a look at the fifth pick of the 2020 NFL Draft, Tua Tangavailoa. I'll see you then. Peace out.